Imagine discovering a hidden treasure right in your collection. If you have 1976 bicentennial Eisenhower dollar in pristine, uncirculated condition, you might be holding a small fortune without even realizing it. One of these gems was sold for a staggering $15,000 at heritage auctions. First things first, check your Eisenhower dollar for a small S mint mark near the date, just above the numeral 9. To command a strong premium, your coin must be graded above MS68. The gem that fetched such a high price was graded MS69 by PCGS, making it one of the finest known examples. Struck in a 40% silver, this bicentennial dollar features the distinctive dual date 1776-1976 and a special reverse design celebrating America's 200th anniversary. Its near perfect grade of MS69 highlights impeccable luster, sharp detail and flawless surfaces, all of which make it incredibly desirable among collectors, with only a few examples existing in this top grade. The 1976S Silver Eisenhower dollar stands out as a highlight in any numismatic collection. The 1943D Lincoln Cent as a highlight in any numismatic collection. The 1943D Lincoln Cent in MS68, certified by PCGS with CAC endorsement, is a remarkable and rare coin. Struck in steel due to wartime copper shortage, this coin stands out for its exceptional preservation and eye appeal. The MS68 grade signifies an almost flawless strike with sharp details and brilliant surfaces. The CAC sticker further attests to its superior quality. Within the grade. As one of the highest graded examples of the 1943 deal steel cent, it holds significant value and interest among collectors, representing a unique period in US coinage history and a pinnacle of numismatic excellence. Satiny zinc silver luster illuminates virtually flawless surfaces and boldly struck design elements on this high end superb gem, 1943 D steel cent. It was sold for $3,720. This is 1945S Mercury Dime, where rare variety known as Micro S, graded in Miste 68 full bands by NGC with star designation. The 1945 Micro S is only major Mercury Dime variety listed in guidebook besides the 1942 Philadelphia and Denver overdates. The variety is not overly scarce in absolute sense, although high grade examples are conditionally so. This coin displays bright luster beneath vivid toning. The margins yield sea green, blue, violet, and amber rings, while the interiors provide a lighter champagne gold hue. Sharpness abounds in the devices, and the loop fails to reveal mentionable abrasions. It was sold for ten thousand and two hundred dollars on June thirteenth, twenty twenty-four. This is nineteen twenty-one half dollar in the mid day sixty-three. This 1921 half dollar in the mint state 63 is a true gem. With a mintage of under a quarter of a million pieces, the Philadelphia issue from this year is predictably scarce. In circulated grades, it's actually rarer than 1921s, but that changes once you cross the mint state threshold. The surfaces on these dazzling examples are brightly rustrous, with only faint hints of pink and gold color over virtually brilliant fields. While Liberty's branch hand shows modest design definition, her head has typical softness of the issue. This frosty and delightful example of challenging coin was sold for $12,000 at heritage auctions. Here we have 1932D Washington Quarter graded in mid 65, a coin that's prohibitively rare in higher grades. As one of the key dates in the Washington Quarter series, it boasts a limited mintage of only 436,800 pieces. The 1932D is even scarcer than the 1932S in MS65, and examples in higher grades are nearly uncollectible. This coin showcases a glistening satin luster with an ivory iridescence throughout. Original rusted toning appears in dopes along the obverse margins, adding to its charm. With no distracting abrasions, this piece stands out for its exceptional quality. It was sold for $7,800, reflecting its rarity and desirability among collectors. Presenting the extremely rare 1983 Lincoln Sense struck on a copper planchet, an error coin with only a handful known. Graded means stage 64 red and brown by NGC. This coin is similar in nature to the famous 1943 copper cent and occurred in precisely the same manner. 
The rarity of 1983 copper planchet scents is due to the transition from copper to the new 97.5% zinc and 2.5% copper planchets in August of 1982. Well before the 1983 scents were struck, scents in America had been primarily copper since their inception in 1793. But inflation forced this change in 1982 to zinc planchets with a seen copper plating, a blend still in use today. This mint error showcases a blend of mint orange color and soft gray brown toning on both obverse and reverse. The strike is slightly sought, which is understandably given that this coin planchet was thicker and heavier than intended for press settings. A few minor carbon spots at the tip of Lincoln's bust are present, but do not detract from the coin's overall appeal. This rare gem was sold for $9,000, highlighting its exceptional value and desirability among collectors. What a wonderful gem! This is 2000p Sacagawea dollar from the Goodacre presentation series, numbered 1039 out of 5000. It is a prized collectible indeed. These coins were specially struck and given to sculptor Glenna Goodacre as a payment for her design work on Sacagawea dollar. Graded by ICG, this particular coin is one of only 5,000, making it highly sought after. These coins are known for their enhanced finish and superior detail compared to the standard circulation strikes. With limited mintage and connection to the artist, the Good Acre presentation Sakajavia dollar holds a special place in numismatic circles and is must have for serious collectors. It was sold for $432 at Stax Powers Auction. Here is 1937S Washington Quarterly Mint State 67 Plus by PCGS. CC approved superb gem, a setback in economic recovery years of 1934 and 36 resulted in San Francisco Mint's coining fewer than half as many quarter dollars that it did in 1936. Fortunately for collectors of the present day, their spiritual ancestors avidly saved fresh rolls of each issue as released. And they place particular emphasis on S mint coins. Thus, mint state survivors are more available than the mintage suggests, though worn examples were always a bit elusive during the years that silver coins circulated. 1937S quarters typically are bright and lustrous, with some revealing faintly proof like fields from repolishing of the dyes to remove erosion lines and extend their life. This superb gem was sold for $9,900. If you enjoyed learning about these treasures, don't forget to like the video, leave a comment with your thoughts, share it with your fellow coin enthusiasts, and subscribe to our channel for more fascinating insights into rare coins. Take care, and see you in the next episode.